Well, hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. There's the whistle, and here we go. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Gabriel Jesus. He's always going to be a massive threat, Peter. And that's primarily because his movement off the ball is so effective. Even if he doesn't end up touching the ball, he usually plays a part in his team's attacking plays because he's dragged people out of position. And that can be an obvious help to those around him. He's uh, full of enthusiasm. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Defenders on the back foot. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, if he truly fancies his chances from here, he's going to need the best of the best. He went for the curler. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. There really wasn't very much in that far away from being a telling final ball uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution McTominay it's Rashford Rashford hoists it forward and it's hoisted clear Jorginho goes looking McTominay is fouled That'll be a throw. And it's Rashford. Has a hit! Goal! Manchester United! Manchester United take the lead! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement and certainty of outcome.
That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Jorginho created that super goal to produce a lead in their last game. Has a pop! Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Rashford hardly anything between the sides and the score is 1-0 some excellent tackling here and that one a perfect example good challenge he just stood firm Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's shapes to shoot. It's a goal. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire. But how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Arsenal grab the equaliser and we're all square. Ah, oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and, uh, and he's gone for it. <laughs> Goal! Manchester United! And they've got their lead back. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Tierney. That's great strength on the ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Saka. Just brushed off the ball there. Neither side really getting hold of the ball. There's the whistle for half-time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Manchester United head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. No reported change to either side during the break. It's a long ball, 
but it's not hit its target. Bruno Fernandes! This could fall anywhere. Casemiro hits one just off target that's just plain unlucky there were many, me included, who thought that was going in Arsenal have their manager to thank for the last result. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back. He's got that who dares wins mentality and he really goes for it. Has a pop! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Rashford. It's Rashford! It's there! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So the lead now is two. Well, everything is going to plan, Peter. A day for a, a regular managerial heartbeat, at least for one. Tries to stroke it through. Gets the better of his man. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Arsenal uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Gabriel Jesus. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Tierney plays it forward. And here's Martial. Here's the through ball. Rashford has a shot! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Manchester United blast themselves into a three-goal lead. Tierney gets it back. Rashford is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, it's about time, isn't it? Only after he's uh, just notched a third. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Holding. Maguire does well to read it and intercepts. And here's Rashford. 
goes for goal! Oh, extraordinary. Partey. Holding. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Saka. Partey. Rashford. And that's that. Manchester United have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Manchester United have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive, the way they cut through the heart of that defence. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.